Hey there and welcome back to the Notion for Students video series. My name is Janosz and in this series we are building a complete organizational system for college students or even just regular students um, in Notion. This series revolves around a free set of templates that are available for download in the description down below. Uh, so I recommend that you actually uh, download and duplicate them into your Notion workspace uh, because otherwise you won't be able to follow along with the course. In the last video we actually talked about all the different parts of this setup and how they work together and now we're going to go into more detail, uh, this time talking about the notes and how you can write assignments in this Notion setup. So let's get started right away. All right, so we're here in the College OS dashboard and now you can see we have this notes database that we can click on. Uh, now this is usually not how you would want to use this, but uh, just so that you know, uh, you can access it like this and here you could write new notes, um, but we'll go back to the college dashboard and we'll go into an individual course because this is actually how you would want to use them. In here, you have this same database actually as a uh, embedded view in a different page and um, how it works is we are filtering for the uh, for all the notes that actually are related to this course uh, and that's why only these notes are shown in here. This allows us to have only one database for our notes but we can still filter out the relevant ones on each of our pages um, so that we know not have to see all of them or we're just looking at this course right here. If you're actually struggling with the term database uh, in Notion, then you might want to check out my Database Views Explained video on YouTube, uh, which goes into a bit more detail on how databases work. And um, yeah, this might be useful for you. So check that out. I'll link this in the uh, video card. Um, but now let's uh, continue with this video. All right, so now let's add our first note. So uh, we can just click on the new button, as I said and we'll open this up as a page. Uh, now this is now a note within our notes database. We can give it a title, we'll just say new note. And then you, as you see over here, you can like write uh, in different things in here. So um, this is how it works. You can just type in some text. This is some text, for example, and um, then go to a new line, type in something different. This is also text. And now what you can do in Notion is you can add in different types of blocks. So Notion is built around blocks and uh, they behave pretty much like you would uh, see it on a like website builder, like a visual website, a drag and drop builder. Um, so if we type in the slash command, we could just say like h1, which would then pull up the heading one. If we click on that, you will see we'll have this big heading. Say so this is our heading. And we could say we want a heading two as well. So this is a smaller heading. And now we can actually use this block feature to drag them around so we can reorganize them. Uh, we want that maybe the biggest heading up at the top and then we want to have some text and then we want to have some smaller heading. Um, you get the idea. So uh, you have these blocks and you can reorganize them however you want. You could even say you want to drag them next to each other like this. So now uh, they are actually shown uh, next to each other. We'll just turn this into a uh, heading one as well. So they have uh, the same size. And uh, now as you see, they are like next to each other. Uh, and we now have created a layout with two columns. Uh, where we can add in content to both of the columns. Now there are lots and lots of blocks in Notion that you can use. You can, uh, for example, embed an image as well. Um, you can choose one from Unsplash, for example. Let's just use these books um, as it makes sense for our purpose. And as you see now, we've got this image in here. Um, to do this again, just type in the slash command and then uh, you can scroll through this list of, of blocks that are available um, to see everything that, that there is. We'll go through some of them, um, but uh, I recommend you just play around with this to, to really get a feel for what's possible using Notion. One of the really useful options for students as well is the ability to add in uh, files. So we can just type in slash file and then we could upload a file, which could be something like, we'll just go to downloads. Um, yeah, we'll just use that one, just uh, some PDF. We can upload it and now it's actually saved in Notion. Now, another way to do this is to uh, use an embed, which would then actually show 
uh, the PDF in uh, the page. So we'll choose the same PDF and now you'll see the difference. Uh, instead of just uploading like this file, it'll actually, once it loads, it will actually uh, show up this file within our Notion uh, page. We can like drag the size around if we want to and then we actually have this file embedded into our page. This is great for taking notes uh, as we'll get into later as well. Other blocks you can embed include things like tweets. So you can directly Im embed tweets into your content, into the thing you're writing, uh, like an essay or something. Um, you can also embed like YouTube videos and uh, all these different things. You can embed designs from design tools. You can even embed code. So you can like have a code block. If you're a computer science student like me, you could like have this block of code and um, you can choose a programming language uh, that you want to add and then have like some, some kind of Java code or uh, whatever programming language that you're actually using. You can also have a table of contents generated automatically, which is also quite cool. I'll just show you this up here. Uh, we'll just say, well, we'll just type in uh, just that and then add title of, title of contents. And now this will actually pull from all the headings that we've created and it will show them in the order. So it will be uh, a H1 as the first one, which is the highest uh, num highest heading or the biggest heading, uh, then the uh, H2s below that and then H3 as the lowest. So if we actually, if I want to actually demonstrate that, let's drag that over here again. Um, let's drag that over here as well. And let's turn this into a uh, heading two again. And now you see how it's indented because this is like a smaller level of heading. And if you have like a big page, then you will have like a whole list of all of the headings of the sections of your content, uh, which you can like then click on to actually navigate to. So if we drag that down here and we are up here on the page, if we click on that, it will automatically navigate us back to where this heading actually is. Now for a more detailed look on this topic, I have a whole video just talking about how you can use Notion to replace your text editor like uh, Word or Google Docs. Um, so check that out if you want to learn more of the little quirks and features that you can use to write your texts in Notion. All right, so now that we actually covered some of the well, really basic uh, things you can do using Notion, um, let me show you one more use case uh, related to this this uh, PDF that I wanted to show you earlier. So uh, if we have a PDF like this, uh, and again, we'll just ha say we'll have, we'll add one more line of text, uh, or like a heading three, uh, oops, do it like this, heading three, and then this is a heading again. And now we'll drag this next to this um, PDF actually. And what this allows us to do is if we go up here, and select full width. So this will make all of our content on the page full width. Um, we can make this one bigger and we can also have our notes like this. And now you can like go through a PDF like this and write down your notes using these bulleted lists right here. And just scroll down and take notes and so on. Another great way that Notion helps you in organizing your work and like writing great notes and articles is by having a web clipper. So uh, this is useful if you like are reading through a lot of material for your assignment and you want to save it somewhere so that you know that you read through it and that you can like reference back to it later. Um, so we're on the website of the New York Times right here and we can click on this little icon up here. It's an extension for Chrome and Firefox. And now we can just uh, add this to our workspace. So uh, we could say we want to use this to the new note, which we just created. And it will take some time, but then you see it finds it right here, the College OS Notes and Practice. Click that, and this is the title, which we can uh, edit if we want to. Uh, but now we can save this web page into our workspace. So if I click Save Page, it will take some time. And now we can go back into our workspace right here and down here you see it has just added this uh, link to the page. If we click on that, we'll uh, get like redirected to the page it has added uh, with this link to, to the website that we just visited as well. All right, so that's it for all of the basics uh, that we can cover here. Uh, once you have used this for a bit, you will also find out that 
often you're writing down the same kind of structure for your notes. So if you're taking notes in class, uh, you will have probably like one structure. You might want to have like a table of contents at the top. Uh, then you want to like maybe upload the file uh, that the, like the handout that your professor gave you. And then you will write down your notes in uh, structured sections below that. Uh, maybe you want to have like a little questions area as well. Um, but generally the structure will be the same. And that's where templates come into play. Uh, now templates, if we go back to our notes and practice database, oops, we want to go through that as well. Uh, we want to go through our course and then theoretic computer science. That's where we want to go. Perfect. Templates are pretty much pre-built layouts that you can determine um, which help you to save time pretty much. So uh, what we can do in here in our notes database, if you go on this little drop dropdown, uh, as you see, we have these templates in here as well. They are included in the, in the uh, template set that you downloaded, hopefully. Um, but we can also create a new template. So we can go in here, we'll say new template and uh, we can um, make changes to this page, which will then be automatically like preloaded whenever we want to use this template. So we could say this template is only going to be used for this course. So we'll just automatically add it in here. Uh, we'll say this will always be a uh, template for uh, class notes. And you could even like embed a uh, standard file in here, which wouldn't make much sense, but you could if you wanted to. Now we can also add an icon so that we can actually like distinguish between them. Um, let's just add uh, this speech balloon right here. And now we can like determine a structure down here. So we could say, all right, we want to have a uh, TOC up here, um, which not isn't, doesn't include anything right now. Then we want to have like an, um, a file. So we want to be able to upload uh, the handout the, next to that. And then we want to start with um, maybe like an H2 um, notes. And then we have um, maybe like an, an, another uh, H2 above that, which will say questions, where we can like add um, uh, like questions that we ask ourselves about the, the class material to learn it later in a better way. Uh, and now this template actually uh, can be used whenever we want to. So we'll go back. Uh, now we have this new template and we can now create a, another note. And as you see down here, now this appears down in this menu. And if you click on that, you see it gets assigned the speech bubble. Uh, it gets assigned the course of theoretic computer science. Uh, it gets assigned the tag of class notes. And this structure we created is also loaded into our page. Um, you can do this however you want. You can uh, even embed content in there as well. Uh, there's lots and lots of ways to do this. Um, but just so that you know, you can use this to speed up your workflow when it comes to cl taking class notes. That's it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you haven't downloaded the templates yet, uh, I recommend doing so immediately. So go down to the comment, uh, the description to do so. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments as well. Uh, yeah, that's it for this one. See you in the next video. Take care and bye.